You want to learn Use Reducer in 90 seconds? Here we go. Use Reducer is similar to Set State. It just goes about it in a different way, using the Redux pattern. Here's how it works. Instead of updating the state directly, you dispatch actions that go to a reducer function, and that reducer function determines how to compute the next state. Just like useState, useReducer returns an array of two values. The first value is the reactive state that you want to show in the UI. The second value is where things differentiate from useState. Instead of a function that updates the state, the function dispatches an action. An action is just an object that has a type, which can be any string, and an optional data payload. Dispatching an action when a button is clicked will trigger your reducer function. The reducer function is something that gets defined and gets passed as the argument to the useReducer hook. The function then takes the current state and the action's arguments and uses the two values to compute the next state, which is typically handled by a switch statement. In this example, if the action is increment, we add one. If it is decrement, we subtract one. The hook also takes the initial state as its second argument. Although this code is a bit more complex, it can help you out in the long run if you're planning to make a very large app. If you add more components to your app, it becomes increasingly more difficult to manage state reliably and predictably. The Redux pattern may help with that. What if you want to get native elements from the DOM using a React hook? You can learn how to do this by watching my useRef video next.